I'm Paul Sims, and I'm here with... Josh Lieb. Vicky Lewis. And I'm also Vicky Lewis. No, he's Steve. Oh, I'm doing that. that I'm bad, too. too. This episode was written by Al Higgins. Um, <laughs> and Vicky Lewis. <laughs> no. <laughs> who really wanted to be here today, but... Uh, he... There, there was an all-you-can-eat buffet. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Last minute, there was an all-you-can-eat buffet. Do you, Josh, you you probably remember better than I do what the inspiration for this was, that, that Matthew went on a vacation and wanted to talk about it and no well, one was interested? Oh, I, I don't remember that. I remember that, like, this was, this episode aired two weeks after we had another episode where Andy came back from a vacation. Like, Matthew went on two vacations, like, within a month of each other. Well, you know. It's kind of like when, when, when Catherine would have three birthdays in a year or something. It's not exactly like he's integral to the running of the station, I don't yeah, think. The, the other one was uh, <laughs> he came back with the mustache from a vacation. Oh, right. Like right, two right, weeks right. before this. So I don't remember the inspiration, though. Uh, for some reason, the uh, Matthew, through this episode, the little Japanese words he learned cracked us up so much that we kept saying them to each other. And in fact, uh, in fact, I think Joe Fury then named Andy Dick's actual baby. His nickname for it was Baby Kohi. Because <laughs> at one point in this episode, Matthew says, "Oh, Kofi. You know how they say coffee in Japan? Kohi. Kohi. <laughs> baby Kohi." Uh, he's so funny, by the way. I really like him in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I can just watch that guy. <laughs> By the way, when, that laugh you heard was my genuine laugh, not the fake laugh I always did during the show. So. <laughs> um, well, we have to discuss this with every DVD release. Right, what, the clothes? Wait, yeah, I was going to, how did you guess? Uh, I had to say, Vicky, how did mm. you feel about your wardrobe at this point? Um, there's not much of it. I remember we were really having to work hard because we didn't want it to be replicated by another yeah, actress. Oh. And so we would go into the um, vintage stores and we'd find stuff and chop it up. And that one looks a little too like we got carried away with the chopping up part. Are you talking about another red-haired actress who played an assistant in an office on a show on NBC? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, oh, I just yeah. Wanted to be sure I know she just about. happened to be named Vicky, <laughs> oh. the character. Jonathan Silverman. Oh, I said it. <laughs> this was before Phil's hair was orange. That's true. He, he would change his hair color he did all the time. His hair got orange. Why was that? It oxidized from People another color. People do that. It's that Strom Thurmond thing. <laughs> this was back when we used to waste time doing. I felt like it was a waste of time to do these long opening. Remember when credits. we did? Sorry, the opening credits in New York. Mm-hmm. And yep. we did. We ever use those? We no. did. No, well, we, no, used, we used no, some we used of them. Beat, we used pieces of it. There was there was like Not the much. one the fancy thing we tried to do with the camera going yeah. fast and people standing still that looked so creepy. Really? <laughs> there was no way. I we wondered could use what it. happened with that. You know, I never liked our theme song, and I think I told that to you once, Paul, and you, your feelings got kind of hurt. Oh, you did, Dave, you Dave hates like our it. theme song like as well. Who wrote our like theme song? What theme song? Uh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I love the theme song. It was written after I have to by say Mike I Post. Like it by well. Mike Post, who wrote The Rockford oh, Files okay. and so many other great he shows. He wrote the music to The Rockford Files? Uh, the wrote, Rockford he, Files? He, no, he wrote the theme song. Which is the best Files. Okay. theme song in the world. Um, <laughs> And so, so Vicky went heavy on clothes and Maura just decided to wear a t-shirt on this She got episode. fed up that week. <laughs> like, screw it. You didn't like the theme song? I never liked it. <laughs> no. we, st- we had joke words to it and stuff, but it, it, was, it was just, it was not catchy. Try and hum it. Go ahead. Try uh, and no. Do, 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 Are we allowed to or not? And I think, Oh, we're not allowed to? Well, you're right. But it was hard to hum. Dum. <laughs> there, look, we just made Mike Post See? five dollars. Kohi. 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 Milku. Dave, you're not supposed to Wait, be what's, in what's, here. What story is this? So if you get a chance while you're in with Dave shaking your stuff. Oh, this is where yeah. Lisa think is tired of everyone thinking uh that they're having Hanky they, they, Panky. Well, they have, are having Hanky Panky, but they think she gets whatever she wants because uh, she's sleeping with Oh, Dave. that's oh, right. right. Favoritism. Yeah. Did you guys both just say Hanky Panky? Hank, oh, she said Hanky <laughs> Panky no, first. He, he, he I, parroted. I, I didn't want her to sound weird. I so. want to go back Thank to the you. theme song because um, <laughs> that, that, that was the third or fourth iteration of the theme song. And uh, I, I mean, not, not like that we refined it. We just had two other people try to do versions. It got better and better, yeah. No, the, the, that, that was a brand new... Um, Approach to it. The first one was Bruce, was Burt Bacharach, as I recall. No, I only wish. Um, what happened to that one Bruce Springsteen wrote? Yeah. We didn't use it because of the whole. And then they gave that to the single guy. No, the secret lyrics of the theme song were One day a spaceship came down from Venus and out came a robot. It's Dave Nelson. 
And then the, the final words <laughs> were, right. and they all live together on a boat. I think I still a have that coat boat, in yeah. my closet. No, I that like coat? The coat. The they coat sold is good. a lot of my clothes on eBay. Really? Without yeah. asking it? Well, that was well, I didn't really want weird. them. I mean, <laughs> you know, they, they were selling that weird thief costume I wore in that one episode. You know what they were? On eBay. I, I know they were. For like five bucks, yeah. Sometimes <laughs> when you're looking at the reviews on Amazon, I'm looking at what they're auctioning for <laughs> really? my show. I have to say, in real life, Vicky dresses better than Beth does. <laughs> she does. Thank you. She and definitely in, wears sexier all, underwear. And on the sh oh. <laughs> And on the show, Beth dresses much better than she did during the first season. Oh, man, that was... That was scary, the first season. But we the pilot was the scariest badly. outfit, which yeah. only I'm probably remembering. It was, yeah. it, we were trying to make everyone happy, so there was like a combat boot, but like a really conservative skirt, but a little sweater, and then weird <laughs> hair, you know? She could be anything. <laughs> yeah. She's every woman. <laughs> Give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish. He's gonna get this wrong. All this time in the basement, time flies, neglecting his personal hygiene. Uh -oh. Steven, now your hair's red. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it does look red. And this is also the first foreshadowing of Mora getting blonde hair on ER. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, she's she's kind of blonde right now in this episode. I've said it before already in one of the other commentaries, but I'll say it again. This is one of the many episodes we did where someone teaches someone uh -huh. how to do something. Also, yeah. like you said, it was like Look the Laverne and Shirley. Where she just, but see, in Laverne and Shirley, like, they were in a car, and that was kind of interesting. That is absolutely not true. With and us, it was always they're sitting, no. <laughs> they're always the, sitting in an office. As a matter of fact, okay. in the Laverne and Shirley episode I was referring to, they were sitting in their living room, okay, the only fine. set they had. Okay. okay. And, <laughs> and uh, she said that there's a clutch and gas, uh -huh. and to simulate that, I'll have a can of peas and a can of corn. Corn. Right, and then that she kept going. No, hit the corn! Hit the corn! <laughs> exactly. I didn't say it was funny, but it, stuff. but it inspired half a season. I, I hope you guys get asked to do the commentary for that show. For, uh, Laverne Shirley. and Shirley, because you seem to, I don't know that much sword. about it. <laughs> uh, I, I don't under, I don't remember this. What what had to do with the sword? Why was the sword there? Because he came he back came... from Japan with gifts. Oh, of course. And, and Paul wanted to have some great special effect with a, a, a very sharp sword. Hey, considering how good the special effect on the on the Jimmy at the Bill Clinton was dinner was, that out. was impressive. Um, this wasn't this partially inspired by Al uh, traveling during the break. I think it must have been. Or didn't didn't Lou go to Japan? Lou was always going to Japan and stuff. I think we're it might have been that also. We're, we're speaking of Al Higgins and, and Al Higgins <laughs> who wrote the episode. You know, I made yes. a buffet joke about Al earlier. I could explain. Uh, Al's a little chubby, but I always like to make call him morbidly obese. Uh, Al is not morbidly obese. <laughs> I know he's not, but I like to make fun of him. But he used to go on the Atkins diet, and I remember we'd order, I'd order spaghetti, and I'd make a spaghetti sandwich just to bother him, even though it tasted terrible. <laughs> That's really kind. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a good friend. Remember when we cut that coffee table in half for a bit? Um, it had to. I think it might be in this episode. You just blew it, man. Oh, with the with sword, right? Yes. But then, oh, uh, everyone watching, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. But remember, after that, it was always a little wobbly and weird. Well, there were. I think there were three times that that coffee table exploded. It just would or, go on you. Well, mm -hmm. There's one time it got chopped in half. There's yep. one time it collapsed on its own. Uh, that was the joke. What's he doing? I have no idea. But... That wasn't even in the script. <laughs> that was Andy looking for his pages. <laughs> I haven't seen any outrageous editing tricks in this one yet. I used to eat all sorts of crap on this show until I finally had a heart attack. That's right. I think that's what happened. Mm -hmm. I had a little bit of roots here because whenever my hair's up like that in a barrette, I'm trying to hide the roots oh, from my you. hair. Is that all real hair or is that extensions? No, that's me. That's all me. Cute little redheaded girl. This was in 19. I, we did this episode in, I believe, 1996, 97. 97 had to be. And uh, I feel really young. The market was very hot, <laughs> which is why. Oh uh, yeah, that's you know right. what? Was Phil used to teach stuff. me actually the stock market in real life. And you and you did pretty good. I, I think, did. Didn't you? I made less than anyone on the show because it was my first show, right? Mm -hmm. And so no, it was only you didn't make less than me. I, no, we were even. I think yeah, at a certain point. We but I mean, and he taught me how to. Today I own CBS. I don't know if anyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll confirm that Vicky made less than Steven. Yeah, wow. I think. Because I started it like, well, I mean. Uh oh. Well, it's yeah, true. no. I, yeah, we started the numbers it, it was so yeah. low. It no, was, but it was so low that yeah. Brillstein Gray gave me a voluntary bump when we got picked up. They're like, we can't even sleep at night. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, this was one of my favorite things when he drops a pencil and says, "There you are, you little rascal," or something like that. Over now. Amazing automated baggage system. Well, good. Now we have Maura Tierney on the phone. Um, I thought you were going to come to the session today. What did 
<laughs> I said I thought you were coming to the to the DVD commentary session today. I was, but my call time on my day job got moved up to 2 p.m. Oh, uh, come here. On, oh, that's all right. So so you'll come to the session tomorrow. No, I have to. I'm leaving town at noon. Oh man. Oh. Um. Well, which com? How are we going to do your commentary for this? I don't know. Can you make a? Can can? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Well, we can just put Am this I on. I'm on the commentary right this You are. You are. Yes. <laughs> you are. In fact, you are. Uh-huh. This was the episode where you were wearing a white T-shirt and a black vest, and you and Dave are touching yeah. each other now. You almost kissed. Uh, yeah. Matthew had been in Japan, and he brought it's back the, gifts yeah, for people. It's the Japan episode. Oh, right, the little Hello Kitty thing. Yeah. yeah. And I think this is the last season where we were still kissing. So... <laughs> so, so if, if we, you know, so if you don't do commentary for this one next year, there'll be no, uh, nothing to talk about. What am I wearing? <laughs> See, even even a person who's not even here that's the main thing everyone's interested in when they're watching the dvd is what they were wearing and what their hair looked like uh vicky like? vicky can you describe the blonde hair? it has highlights. blonde highlights in it yeah it's it's just getting really close to that blonde type of hair you had right before you had to wear the wig or no the there was already hair. a wig right remember that <laughs> no that was the next wig. season oh that was next vicky, season what are you wearing I'm wearing something stupid like I always did. It's like a half of a top and a big long duster. Yeah. Sorry, Andy Dick is on the other line. You look Andy very Dick cute. Is on the other <laughs> line. Yeah, that'd be great. I like Perfect. The dusters. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, you look very cute and you look cute. It's the one where you have a squeaky chair and I don't know, that's your great that's And your Catherine story. thinks that you, you just and get Andy anything you want. Yeah, 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 yeah chair. that's right. Doesn't Andy lie about going to Japan? Yeah. Oh, oh right. now you oh. blew it again. Oh. We're not really at the end of the episode yeah, yet. You just kind of ruined uh-huh. the surprise for well, anyone who watches the commentary watch first this before they watch the, watch the episode. Laura, you're not even here. It's very. I'm not there. It's very impressive that you're remembering these plot points and you're not even looking at it. I find that I know. very impressive. My, my, all Mara does all day is watch old news radio. <laughs> <laughs> and cry. Yeah. <laughs> you said all you do all day is watch old news radio episodes. Is it true you when you... No, I did do that for a little while. Because you never watched them when they were actually on TV? <laughs> I didn't really watch them when they were on TV. And then a couple of years ago, I got them and I just watched them all. And every time Billy would come home, I'd be watching myself on TV. <laughs> <laughs> and after like the third day, he said, you look pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mara, is it true when you kiss Goran, what's his name, you think he's Dave Foley? I know Every it. Time I kiss anyone. <laughs> it must make it more palatable. <laughs> Boy, we're watching such a good scene right now between you and Andy. I don't even want to. I don't want to tell you what happens, and it is too funny. What oh. happened? I don't know. I have no idea what's happening. Actually. <laughs> He's sitting on your desk. It seemed like he was gonna. He thought he was gonna kiss you. He's making a sexy face. Oh, is this this episode? Oh, boy. I don't know how to exactly to describe that for the commentary. Well, he broke but wind. Was he broke wind during the scene? Was that during his uh, only garlic diet? That might have been. That was during the kombucha <laughs> diet, I think. Uh, remember when he was eating nothing but whole cloves of garlic? Yes. And then no one would stand near him? Well, yeah. that's, that's what... And then he get his feelings hurt. That's why they wrote the, the story yeah. about Joe the and Andy pill, fighting, honey. wasn't it? Because of that garlic episode? <laughs> I think so, it? yeah. Oh, lunch is here. What? All those newspapers were uh, Wall Street journals that said Glaxo buys welcome. <laughs> <laughs> now we're watching a scene that we don't understand. Maura, oh, we're yeah. not ignoring you. You're just not in this scene anymore. <laughs> All right, I'm fine. Okay, no, I know. You're great. I like. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine. So. <laughs> oh, you're I'm fine. I am that. That's no. true. Mar, what are you wearing? <laughs> Nothing. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> That's <laughs> <laughs> hysterical. Dr. Abby. <laughs> That's obscene. Do you, do you ever get upset that on your new show you don't really get to change clothes as much as you did on this show? Um, no. But I do get upset sometimes of what we had to, I had to wear on that show. On news radio? Yes. What was the worst? Um, I don't know. I saw something the other day when we were watching that behind the scenes. But it was like a gold lame. I don't know. Weird, do you remember the, long, the, shiny jacket. Do you remember the one week you wore fake tits? That was awesome. Yeah, they made you wear them <laughs> yeah. for just one week. And Dave just ruined it. Take them out because they made me look too short. <laughs> <laughs> How do fake uh, uh, breasts make you, make a person look too short? Because he said, because I was like, what do you think? And he, and he really thought about it. 
about it for a minute. He goes, you know, no. I think they might give it too short because I'm little. And I guess, I don't know, maybe he meant fatter. <laughs> but that, the, the costume lady said that Mara was our sweater girl, as I recall. <laughs> oh, I think it was a network. Note, I used wasn't to it? wear those chicken cutlets, and they'd get all sweaty yeah. during the show. And then you had to pull them out. Remember yeah, the those? Yeah, the rubber, the rubber cutlets. They were, well, they're made of silicone, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, the ones I had were. It was remember the first wardrobe lady, Vicky, not um um. Not Llewellyn, but that other one, the Carol. One who, uh, the one show, but, yeah, not yeah. Llewellyn. I know what you mean. Uh, yeah. What? She's the one that made us wear breasts, right? Yeah, but they were bad. They weren't I know. Even, like the colors. They were just really bad. They were foam. Big, they like were... non-moving. Yeah. They actually thing. rolled up sweat socks. <laughs> and she I used to. Them and, she, and, I, and I said, well, isn't this okay? And she said, well, why do you have to be the voice of small-breasted women in America? <laughs> oh, my God, she didn't. <laughs> no, that's what she said. Remember that really cute assistant uh, wardrobe girl from the first season? I was in love she with told her. me my arms were too skinny and they needed to be covered and that I needed <laughs> breasts. And she told Dave he had no shoulders, so we needed shoulder pads, but somehow she overlooked Andy's lack of shoulders. She also wanted me to wear a chest. No, you know what? Didn't Stephen also, didn't she put something in the front of his jacket? Yeah, she built up my pecs oh and my, my shoulders when I actually did have <laughs> shoulders. Uh, mm-hmm. I had more than Andy at any rate. It's messed up. What, did she think the show was about some superheroes or something? <laughs> like, I don't know. Justice League of America? Uh, oh, Dave has a sword. There's a special effect coming you remember up. Remember the sword, Dave Maura? is playing with a katana sword. Um, if you strike Who has a sword? Dave. Dave, Dave sword. remember he slices... Uh, I my Alec Guinness impression. Yes. Yeah. You weren't in the scene. So. Uh, somebody's coming. It might uh, be you. No, it's Andy. No, it's Andy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Andy. I hope Andy never watches this. <laughs> oh, it's just Andy. <laughs> it's just the guy who the episode is all about. <laughs> oh, now he's walked in. They use waste paper. I'm trying to think of something funny for Gordon to say, but I can't think of anything funny. <laughs> Come on, Grads. Are, are you guys pretending to have sex right now? No, not yet. <laughs> All right. We're not, we don't have to pretend to have sex. We just have to lie there together. Uh, that's how they do it? Uh, so it's just like you and... All right. Did you hear that, Maura? No. Josh said, oh, so it's just like you and... <laughs> Are we allowed to put that? I'm glad every one of you. Don't worry. All right. We've all been married, Mara. What? I have. What? I have to go do my scene. Right. Okay, but thank okay, you for, for a, appearing. Call back? Yes, call back. Call uh, back. That's uh, great. Yeah, it'd be wonderful. Okay, I'll call you guys back. Okay. Right, okay. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. So we picked this episode because a lot of it is about Vicky. And then uh, uh, we spent the whole episode Vicky. on the phone and Maura. <laughs> well, that's just like us. He gets mad, right? You get mad, right? Because I earn, I do better than you and I picked him like an idiot or something? I think he's... No. No. Oh, no, wait. You gave me money to do it? What? You know, we always wanted to have Beth get adopted by I Jimmy. I can't remember. Remember that? That was the story we wanted to do, and we could never figure out how to do what? it right. Do an adopt. That you were going to adopt her and make her your heir. Oh, that's a good story. Yeah, let's go let's back and do that. Let's do that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's write it now. We can do it for a six season DVD. No, because you guys are always so good together. It was like yeah, there's a real sort of you know affection. We'll here. do it for a six show HBO. Oh, you know, that'd be commitment. nice. That would be good. Oh, he's always taking your money. I typically. used to be insecure in the break room because the lighting was crap. Or no, it wasn't crap, but it was really bright. Yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah, it was. And I was always like, Ugh, what's look? what do I look like? It is a particularly ugly room. It's not flattering. Stephen looks good. Well, I, You know, it's funny, yeah, because you watch Friends and you go, boy, I'd like to live in that apartment or live in that apartment. And you watch this and you go like, oh, I'd never want to sit in that <laughs> <same day." laughs> No, it's uh, dank and dour. Now, Dave's office makes me feel comfortable, especially yeah, okay during especially during the scenes that's supposed to be nighttime when it's kind of dark yeah. outside. Mm-hmm. And it's soothing. You took a lot of naps on that couch. Lots of recall. people napped on that couch. It was cozy in there. Uh-oh. Finally, a payoff to the sword. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a sword in the first act? Chop a table in half <laughs> by, the the, by the end of the play. Mm. Two or three Ferraris. Maybe a Porsche 911. Phil, Phil's wearing rather 
drab very clothing. kind of professorial. Well, sometimes, yeah, yeah. He, he would wear he would wear the vest, which would make him. It look looks like a little Titanic episode. Like yeah. som- sometimes he would look very Vegas, and sometimes he would look very like this. Uh, the house gone. <laughs> 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 you know, I don't remember. I mean, I know that there's something coming up, but I don't remember um, exactly how well the special effect worked. So, you want to make a prediction on a one to ten? Of- <laughs> I call that a ten. That was I like good. That. I forgot that, that. That thing was sharp. Yeah, it should have gone all the way through the floor. That at all. Is he going to chop at it some more as the episode goes on? I no, hope so. Right? Chop something else. It's in the in the main. Uh, See newsroom. there, it's nighttime. It's cozy. cozy. Mm. They're, they're probably going to kiss. Dave and Lisa are arguing. He left it on the floor that whole time. Uh, you know, there's a lost joke from the. No, the, but there, oh. here, here, he's done, he chopped something up here. As oh, I recall. why is that chair so low? Oh, oh, oh yeah. I do remember this. Yeah, these are all these are all uh, <laughs> things that surprised us by working out much better than we thought. <laughs> okay, I admit it. I admit it. I didn't actually go to Japan. <laughs> Boy, we're all sitting here enjoying that. <laughs> that was very nice. Really nice. Very funny. <laughs> I like that. I remember enjoying it, but I want to see more with the sword. Oh, oh yeah. there you go. Oh. That, that's a news radio special. You know, you don't see any of those coming. I think they're well done. I need a new chair. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. Ooh, the lights go out in the night. <laughs> <laughs> I had a sweet papa like that. Listen, everyone, there, there is absolutely no favoritism. Well, I wonder what would happen if someone had just tuned in right at this moment <laughs> <laughs> to a black screen, a little bit of light, and some people talking. It'd just be like old time radio. Talk radio. Talk radio, as the show is called. News radio, talkie talk. Oh, look, another tag. What? Boy, those were the good old days. Oh, that coat hanger, the balance was getting off, and I kept, when I would take my coat, it would fall over. Oh, remember? I remember. We had we to keep this, doing it over yeah, and over. We did over. this like six times. Yeah. <laughs> I fibbed it wasn't about your fault, I fibbed about the conference table being the only souvenir I took. I also took the coat rack. Uh-huh. Liar. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, we didn't add anything to that. 